Neuralink implant implanted in a monkey's brain. He can play video games using only his mind. Scientists from Neuralink have implanted a wireless brain implant in a monkey. The technology that scientists employed by Elon Musk's company are working on is intended to help paralyzed people control and control various devices, such as computers, in the future. In the long term, the brain-computer interface is intended to improve people's intellectual capabilities. For now, a device implanted in the monkey allows it to play Pong using only its mind. Neuralink was founded in 2017. Its main goal is to find a way to connect humans with computers. Musk, speaking about the company's goals, pointed to enabling paralyzed people to become at least partially independent and use a computer. But chips implanted in the brain will also help improve people's intellectual abilities. As Musk has repeatedly mentioned, in July 2019, during the first presentation of the achievements of scientists employed by Musk, several prototypes of devices were shown, including a machine for implementing electrodes and a miniature system that is able to read, cleanse and amplify signals from the brain. A year later, scientists from Neuralink showed the world pigs with an implanted chip. One of them was implanted with an implant that monitors the activity of neurons related to the area of the brain that controls sensory signals from her snout. The new experiments that Musk talked about in a recent interview were conducted on monkeys. While the implants implanted in pigs last year had wires extending from the animals' heads, those implanted in monkeys are now wireless. Neuralink is developing an interface that will allow people to interact with and control computers using only their thoughts. The technology consists of a brain implant that can read neuronal activity through a series of electrodes and microscopic fibers. But there is still a long way to go before testing the technology on humans. First, the devices will check the animals. As Musk admitted, the monkey with the implant uses new technology to play the game Pong. It is a table tennis simulation released in 1972 using two-dimensional graphics. We already have a monkey with a wireless implant in its skull that can play video games using only its mind. One of the things we're trying to figure out is whether we can let two monkeys play this mind pong with each other. That would be pretty cool, Musk said. Responding to concerns about the animal's welfare, Musk pointed out that the monkey, looks completely normal, you can't even see where the implant was placed. When pressed by the host, Musk admitted that the main goal of this technology will be to enable people with brain or spine injuries to control robotic devices. He also added that one day the technology could allow humans to connect with machines and evolve into cyborgs. He added that humans are already almost like cyborgs. Given our dependence on computers, smartphones and various other digital devices. Interacting with such devices via hand movement or voice control is relatively slow. Musk wants to eliminate these types of low-bandwidth interactions and establish a direct neural connection between computers and our brains. Such a connection, he said, 
could happen at the speed of thought. Moreover, according to Musk, this technology may in the future allow for brain preservation after a person's death. Her memories and personality could be transferred to another person or robot. Of course, all this can be considered in the context of the distant future. Currently, implants are tested only on animals, although Musk, in response to a request on Twitter from a paralyzed person, wrote that his company is in talks with the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, the regulatory body in the U.S. responsible for the control and marketing of, among others, drugs, and hopes to begin testing Neuralink in humans later this year.